A common question when writing code is, what tools do I use? We have all used web browsers and we have used file managers to access photos and documents. Some of us have used command lines where we have occasionally entered a command. Here I am entering a command to list uh, files and directories. All those tools are accessible from our desktop. The desktop environment is itself a tool. File managers in particular are among the most useful tools available to us. Customizing the file manager can help us see information the way we need to in order to better make decisions in our day-to-day -day workflow. The way dates and file sizes are presented can be very useful and directly impact personal productivity. When preparing for a project, one of the first steps is to decide where future files and folders will go. I place C++ files in a directory named code. You might have a different directory. A common name many developers use is uh, projects. Whatever it is called, code is usually in a folder under a primary or root directory. Icons are so useful that cutting down on the clicks to access them can speed us up and improve our focus. Some desktop environments let you pin an icon to the bottom bar of your screen. This way programs you most frequently use are quickly available. The biggest benefit you gain from this customization effort is improved train of thought. Nothing's worse than trying to find something and by the time you find it you forgot um, what you was originally thinking or the reason why you even sought that uh, program in the first place. And so pinning icons help with that. Software development is driven by information. Some open source projects publish source code in zip-like bundles. These bundles contain both source code and documentation. I have downloaded zip-like bundles for GTK, SQLite, Bakefile, GCC, and CPP reference. The file manager provides a convenient way to extract these bundles in one step. I then go into the extracted folders, find the index.html file, and bookmark them in Mozilla Firefox. It is great that open source projects such as GNOME GTK, GNOME XML, SQLite, curl, and others work in earnest to maintain documentation. No easier way exists to fully understand those API. So GCC also um, provides a zip bundle. You can get that information from GNU.org. And so regardless of the documentation, when it's in HTML format, I find the index.html and I bookmark I bookmark that file in Firefox. This way I can easily access the relevant descriptions of tools and API that I will use when building software. A great benefit of this is I am less at mercy of connection speeds, websites being down, and I can ensure access to documentation is fast and convenient. And so I have a um, bookmark here to GTK where I can quickly and conveniently go through the different API uh, descriptions and descriptions of functions. Similarly, I can access CPP reference and have at my, at my fingertips quickly information about the latest version of C++, the latest version of C, and here I'm looking at SQLite and the list of functions in SQLite 
where I can uh, make good decisions on which functions I need in order to more productively use that API.